أعمالنا إنه من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وخليله بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة وجاهد في الأمة وكشف الله به الأمة حتى أتاه اليقين من ربه صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى في محكم تنزيله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون ويقول سبحانه وتعالى يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبت منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا. All praise is due to Allah whom he seeks his help, he seeks his forgiveness. All praise is due to Allah our Creator whom he seeks his help, he seeks his forgiveness. We seek refuge from Allah Almighty, from the bad deeds and our evil deeds, and we witness that there is none worthy of worship except Allah Almighty alone who has no partners, and I bear witness that all the prophets, including Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his messenger. <coughs> Respected brothers and sisters, Nowadays, people are looking for something very important in life. That thing is happiness. Everyone in this world, including ourselves in this mosque, and their families, and brothers, everyone is looking for something called happiness. And happiness, respected brothers and sisters, is something that you cannot live your life without it. Otherwise, you will be living in a disaster. So that's why many people, almost everyone, will look for happiness because it's a part of our life. Once the happiness in our life, so we will live happily. And that's true. And the majority in this world, they are living in depression, sadness, grief, worry, living in darkness even though they are living in a light or under the light. They are lonely even though they are living with the community. So why people having all these problems and they are looking for something that makes them happy? Now everyone knows some people think that the happiness comes with what? Money. Right? As they call it, money is honey. So if you have money, you will be so happy, right? But this is not the case, my brothers and sisters. Let's see in the Quran what God Almighty, Allah Almighty said. He spoke about Harun. And he said, Inna Harun kana min qawmi Musa fabaga alayhim. Harun, and everyone knows Harun, he was a tyrant king. He was among the people of Musa. Allah Almighty gave him one, and you can imagine now, the wealth that Allah Almighty gave him and blessed him, the key of the treasure, strong men having holding the key of the treasure. And they are putting that key inside the gate or the door and they are moving the lock so they can open the door. So if you imagine that big is the key only, what you will think the kingdom or the treasure that he had? But what happened next to that? Allah said that that well was caused for him for the destruction. And not only that, this is one of the examples in the Quran. Let's talk about today. Those who have money, 
millionaire, multi-millionaire, all those famous actors, singers, everyone knows what happened to them. Most of them, they are living life of depression, living life of sadness. Most of them, they commit suicide. Why are they committing suicide? Are they poor? No, they have everything. They wish everything and that wish become true. And recently everyone knows the Hollywood actor who committed suicide. He was a millionaire. <laughs> what happened to him? And not only that, he was a comedian. Imagine he's coming in the movies to make people laugh. But what happened to him at the end? He committed suicide. So where the heaven is then? If it's in the money, no, it's not in the money. If it's in the power, the authority, it's not in that. Some people think like that, that the wealth or the authority is everything. Once you have the authority, you will have the happiness. And that's not true. I'll give you an example from Quran. The God Almighty said about Fir'aun, and everyone knows Fir'aun, right? Pharaoh. What he said in the Quran, He said to his people, proudly, he said, Oh people, don't you think that the kingdom of Egypt is belong to me? And all these rivers running and flowing beneath me? What happened? He was proud, he was tired, right? What happened to him in the end? He was drowned in the water. He was so happy and, and he was so proud that he had water. Beneath his palace, he drowned into the water. And he was thinking that once he possessed things, he can control things. No. Sometimes we think that once we control over things, we will be happy. Sometimes these things will cause destruction for your own self. And I'll give you an example. Happened with me. A person got a job as a manager in the company. Once he got that position and he stepped in the company, after a month or two maximum, that person transformed into a monster. Transformed into a monster. He started shouting on that. He started yelling on this. Openly. Not respecting the person, not respecting the employee, and he started detecting salary from this person out of no reason. He started giving warning letter to that person for no reason, just to show that he is something. He owns something. He has authority. Wallahi, well, people used to come to me, and they are sitting and complaining, and explaining, and some of them, men, they are crying in front of me. They are saying, Wallahi, why this person is doing that? Why is he detecting our salary? We have home, we have specs. We are living in a place that we are paying the rent, we have children, we have this and that. I told them, have patience. Have patience. One day will come. And believe me, after a year and more than, less than a year and a half, the top management took all his authority. And after a few weeks after that, he was out of the company. So if people think that after possessing, they will achieve happiness, after controlling people, and that's not true as well. So, where is the happiness? <coughs> the happiness, some people think, is in the children. Indeed, that's true. But, this is not the most important element that some people, once you have more children, you will have that happy life. That's not true. I know people, they have one daughter or maybe one son, that one person made their life miserable to their parents. So sometimes it's not the happiness. I'm talking about the real happiness. When is it? Is it in the beauty? Is it in the power? Is it in the fame? La wallahi, it's not on all these things. Let me start and tell you something very important. A fact that everyone should know about it. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah Almighty, the God, created us from two things, body and soul. We agree on that, right? Body and soul. How Allah, the Creator, the God Almighty, created our body, is mentioned by detail in Quran. 
from the dust. He put the water in the dust, become mud. He kept the mud for some time to so become dry. I don't want to go into the detail because of the time, but the body is created from the dust, right? Where the soul comes from? From Allah Almighty. The soul, Allah blows the soul into the human body. So it's two things in one, the soul and the body. Once the soul comes out of the body, the body called dead body. No use of it. So, I want you to just think one, one thing. From the day one, me and you come to this dunya, what happened? Our parents, they are giving us the best food. They are giving us the best clothing. They are giving us the best medication. And they are so keen to do the best thing for us. Alhamdulillah, this is something good. And the same thing comes back when we get married and we have our own children, we are so keen to give them the best food. We are so keen to give them the best medication and the best education and everything. And this is allowed. I'm not saying this is haram. This is good. And some youth, once they become young, what they do? They go to the gym. They carry the heavy weights to show their muscles, to pop up their muscles, big arms, big body. Why? To get impressed by themselves when they look or they impress others to show them their body. This is all permissible. There's no problem with it. But what about the soul? The body needs materialist thing. And that's why it grows. And once the soul comes out, this body will go to the dust where it came from. What about the soul? This is what I'm talking about. The soul needs to be connected to the Creator and this is the food of the soul. This is the food of the soul that you have to be connected to your Creator, Allah Almighty, your God Almighty. Because once you are disconnected from Allah, the money will not help you, your children will not help you, anything that you possess will not help you unless you are connected with Allah. And once you are connected with Allah, you will be the most happiest person living on this earth. You will be the most happiest person living on the earth. And this is what I'm saying. Quran, Allah Almighty told us. What did he said? <coughs> he said in the Quran, in chapter Al-An, chapter number 6, verse number 125, <coughs> Now pay attention to what God Almighty telling us. He's saying, so whoever, God Almighty wants to guide, he spreads open his heart. And he make him to submit his will to Almighty God. This is what we want. This is what we want to live happy life. Otherwise, in your own palace, in your own house, in your most popular and the top company that you're, that you're working in, in a position, you will be living in a miserable life. <coughs> Not only that, what Allah Almighty said in Quran as well, in Surah al nahl chapter number 16, verse 97, He said, مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مِنْ ذَكَرِ أَوْ أُنْثَى وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنًا فَلَنَقِيَّتَهُ حَيَاتًا طَيِّبًا Amazing verse. Amazing verse. He said, whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, anyone. While he is believer, he believes in one God, he follows the commandments, what will happen to him? God Almighty surely will cause him a good life. And I would like to stop here in good life. The translator, the translator, most of the translators, they, when they translate, they will just come with the word good life. In Arabic it says Hayatul Tayyibah and everyone knows to explain one word in Quran or in Arabic language you need maybe 16 to 20 words to just complete the meaning. So most of the time the translator they like good life, happy life. But in Arabic Hayatul Tayyibah means the good life, the happy life, the peaceful life, the peace of mind, everything that contains who? To who? To the one who believe in Allah, the one who do the righteousness. And I would like to stop here because some people will say that what you want us to do? Come in the mosque and sit and do nothing? Pray? Read Quran? 
do good things and do nothing, this is one of the things that you have to do, but this is not all. The good things that you have to do is in your own character, in your manners, because it's allowed for us to go for a picnic, for barbecue, some people go and walk at the beach, you have your own family, you get together, you talk, you joke, you laugh, you buy. It's permissible. It's not saying that this is haram and this is not right. This is permissible. But within it, you don't have to forget that there is Allah, the Creator of Almighty, that you have to be in touch with. This is the, one of the reasons, brothers and sisters, this is one of the reasons that we Muslims pray five times a day. Just to be in touch with your Creator. <laughs> This is one of the things that you have to know that there is a creator that you have to be in touch with. Not once a month or once a week or once in a year do some festival. No, we have on weekly, on daily basis, five times a day. That's why one of the reasons that we pray. This is one of the reasons. Of course, there are many other reasons that you have to be happy. You have to thank Allah for whatever He gave you and etc. And whoever turns away Whoever turns away from Allah, whoever, whoever turns away from Allah, believe me, my brother, I swear that this person is a miserable. This person will live a life miserably. He is the biggest loser. And this is not my saying. God Almighty said that. He said in chapter Surah Baha, chapter 21, verse 1, 24. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكًا That whoever turns away from my remembrance, which is Allah Almighty, the God remembrance, whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed, he will have desperate life. Desperate life. So whoever turns away and thinks that by his own money, by his own smartness, he will gain the happiness, this person is the biggest loser. And I would like to conclude my first part of khutbah with mentioning two real stories. A, lady, a girl, a young girl, living in a house, her father is millionaire, mother is millionaire, all her aunts and uncles millionaire. So she is a queen actually. She is millionaire by default and her, her family called a sheikh, Imam and saying that, you know, she is in a miserable situation, please come and check what's wrong with her. So the sheikh went to the palace, he went inside and he said, the palace, everything in the house is, is under struggle. Anyways, he went inside the room of that girl, young girl, a big room with all things that you can imagine is there, the luxury and everything. He went and he said with the girl, and he said, what's your problem? He asked the parents, what's the problem? That they say that she is crying all the day, she is depressed all the time, she is sad all the time, and we took her around the world, best of the hospitals, best of the doctors, nothing. Nothing is happening, no improvement. So the sheikh said, okay, I would like to ask her a few things. She said, what? He said, tell me honestly what you do on daily basis. What you do on daily basis, just tell me. So she said, well, I'm rich, I don't go to work. Because everything I have, so I don't have to work. So I get up, I woke up every day at 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock, which is Asr time, afternoon. And while I'm on my bed, I'll take the remote and I'll open the TV. I'll turn on the TV. And I'll start watching movies, songs, this and that for the next two hours. So she's sleeping and she's just flipping the channels. And after that, she orders the food, so they bring the best of the food from best place. So out of all this food that she orders, she eats just a little bit and the rest is waste and then she said, well, by the time of night, 10 o'clock I call all my friends so they come in my room and we start just having fun he said, what kind of fun? He said, she said, everything 
we dance, we drink alcohol, we do this and we that, we do everything. Even what, whoever we would like to call from the singers, famous singer, we call them and they come. So the chef, chef said, how? He said, well, we just gave them money and for money they would come. Until 5 o'clock five o'clock in the morning, February time. And at that time everyone leaves and then I'll be alone, so I'll sleep. Till the next day, I'll get up, same thing, 4 or 5 o'clock, watching TV, and the same routine on daily basis. So the chef looked at the parents, and he said, I know the sickness of your daughter. I know exactly what your daughter had. So they said, what's that? And he said, Whoever turns away from Allah, indeed, he will live miserable life. And you are, your daughter is living miserable life. And he asked, he asked her, are you praying? She said, no. Are you reading Quran? No. Are you doing any kind of good deeds, charity, anything? No. And then he said this, that the sickness of your daughter is depression because she's away from the path, the straight path, the path of Allah the Almighty. And I would like to conclude this khutbah with another story that I know personally, this person, about those who think that the happiness in haram things. Happiness by drinking, or happiness by taking drugs, or happiness by party, happiness in women, happiness in all these things. This is exactly what happened with this guy. I know him, he came from the States several years back, <coughs> a few years back in this country. Now the parents, they are away, he is away from his parents. He has no supervision of anyone, so he's alone. <coughs> so he starts doing everything haram. Into that extent that he was telling me every weekend I'm traveling out of the country, every weekend. Even for two days I'm traveling to other country and doing all the haram stuff and drinking and doing and this and that. <coughs> but he was telling me that even at that time, I have a hole in my heart. I have a big hole in my heart, not physically, but he's saying what exactly he was, he was feeling. And he wants to fill this hole with all the bad things. He thinks that, okay, this hole can be filled with, by drinking, so he starts drinking. By woman, so he starts going out with the woman. By nightclubs, parties, all these things. And he said, Allah, I swear, every time I do all these things, I become more depressed. More problems. Problems at work and problems after problems. Until he was guided by Allah Almighty and he knew the way of his Creator. And now this person, if you see him, my brothers, Wallahi, if you see his face, it's shining. It's noon on his face. It's all light from Allah. And now, actually, just Sometime back I asked him after he changed his life, I said, tell me brother something. Now you used to do a lot of things back, at back time. Now you have nothing to do, you're just going to your work, you're coming home, you're going to the mosque, praying five times a day, and that's it. So, few things compared to that, big things that you used to do, is there any difference? He said, believe me, I swear. That now that limited things that I'm doing, I'm living in a heaven even in this dunya. I'm living in a heaven. At that time when everything was open for me and I do whatever I want, I was living in a hell in this dunya. And he said, that's it. Once I'm connected with the Creator, that's it. I'm the most happiest person in the world. So I ask Allah Almighty to open our eyes and I ask Allah Almighty to let us see the truth <coughs> so we follow it. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us on a straight path. I pull what's my own, I step for what I do, I come and say, I'm a swimming, I step for what I do, I go for Alhamdulillah, you are Katha, or Salat, or Salam, or Alan, Peter, or Mustafa, or Alan, or Sahi, or Salah, or Alan, Jim, or Tedda, or Alan, or Alan, or Respected brothers and sisters. Now, brief. For what I said, first, I said that people, what they think about the happiness, right? 
And some people think that the happiness is in the wealth and the children and the job and etc. But that, that's not right. And after that, I spoke about the soul and the body. And we know the reality of the soul and the body. And we have to keep our soul, feed it more than the body itself. Because there is a story I forgot to mention about Ibn ibn al-Adham. And not only Ibrahim ibn al-Adham back time, even nowadays those who are really connected with God, they will not think about the food, they will not think about something, you know, really, you know, to buy something luxury or something like that. They will be living in a simple life because they are happy with their creator, they are happy in this life. So Ibrahim ibn al-Adham, he used to have, he is a just poor guy in his place, but a knowledgeable person and the one who worshiped God day night. He had a small piece of bread dry in his pocket. And when he goes out with his friends and play, there's a river next to the place that they are playing. He takes that small piece of bread, the dry one, he put it in the water, dip it to become a little soft, and then he eats it. Eat the bread. And he said, Wallahi, I swear by Allah, the one almighty, if the kings and the children of the kings know the happiness that I am living in now, they will come with their sword and they will cut me off. They will chop me. In another way that if they know the happiness, they will cut me and take this happiness because I'm living in a, in a, in a status of happiness that not these rulers and those living in a, in a big play, uh, palaces, they are having it. And even nowadays, as I said, believe me, those who are close to Allah, they will not care about the best food and best clothing and this and that, even though it's allowed for you to do that. So this is the second thing that I talked about. The third, I talked about that how we can make ourselves happy according to Quran. And we said that. That do righteousness, do good things. And then I told you the real stories about those who are living till today in this world. The, the girl and this friend. And I would like to conclude my khutbah with something that I would like to share with you. So you can implement these things in your life so you will attain happiness, inshallah. There are many things, by the way, but I just choose few things. I just selected few things to share with you because these are the most important things beside the others. So number one, respect to brothers and sisters is what? at Humbleness. The more you are humble for sake of Allah, you have to be sincere to Allah. The more you are humble to the others, not the tyrant, not the one who just say anything, whatever comes in your mind and you just hurt the other people. The more you are humble, the more Allah Almighty will raise your status in this world. And this is the fact and this is the reality. So you have to be humble. The more you are down to earth, just for sake of God Almighty, the God Almighty will raise your status even in this dunya. He will give you the dignity. The second respected brothers and sisters, Al-Afu, which means pardon, forgiven. You have to forgive the one who said something bad about you, who did some kind of mistake to you. Mistake can be forgiven, but even though if a person said something purposely to you, the best among those who forgives the others? The best. Not forgiving while you are in a weak status. Because some people will, you know, a person will come and might yell at you like a manager or some person just say something bad about you and you can do nothing. So because of that, that status, you cannot do anything else and okay, you know, I will just leave it. Just leave it, no more. I'm talking about if you have the authority in your hand, you can do anything to that person, but for sake of Allah, for sake of God, you will say, I will leave this person. I will not say anything. Just leave it. You will be in a best form of happiness in this world by doing that. So this is number two. And number three is sadaqah, the charity. The more you give to the poor, the more you help the others, believe me, you will feel the happiness in your heart that you cannot imagine. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, he said, وسلم, he said in the hadith, مَا نَقَصَ مَانُ that whatever you give from the money that you have, and inventory is not your money. 
It's given by the God. It's a blessing from the God that you have in your hand, in your, in your bank balance. So whatever you take and you give the others, the God Almighty will put barakah, blessing in the, the money that you're spending from. So it will increase. So this is the thing that you can do on daily basis. Know how to put few, few dinars in your, in your car, in the draw, and you see these poor people who are cleaning the, the streets. They are cleaning the street when it's too cold in winter and they are cleaning the street when it's too hot in, in summer. So we have to thank Allah by saying at least we have a car, we have money, they don't have. So you give, help people, give charity. By this you will attain happiness and decide that of course you have to pray, you have to do all the good things that you are doing. So three things I would like to share with you is number one is at tawawa being humble. The more you are humble for sake of Allah, Allah will raise your status in this dunya and the hereafter. And the more you are forgiving to the others, Allah will give you dignity. And the more you give to the others by helping them, Allah Almighty will increase your wealth. So I ask Allah Almighty to bless us to forgive the others. And I ask Allah Almighty to bless us to be humble in this world. And I ask Allah Almighty to bless us to give from the well that He blessed us to give the others. Allahumma Azza wa Islam wa Muslimin. 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 Allahumma Azza wa Islam wa Muslimin.